Hey everybody, welcome to this new video of Techpress. My name is Steven. I'm going to be showing you how to add a pre-order into Shopify. It's actually a really simple product, a simple way that we can do this. So as you can see, I do have this one product and I have this actual price header up. So what I wanted to do is to change the price and add to the card or buy now and change those button, those buttons for pre-order or coming soon, which I think is gonna be really, really useful to, let's say, to make some advertise for my actual shop. So if you don't find this into the editor of Shopify, this means that you need to use an actual application, a third party application inside the actual um, Shopify app store. If I go into the apps, and go into apps and sales channel settings, you want to see the button that says Shopify App Store. If I click there, I wanted to click in here and look how for my keywords, which in my case, that would be the actual pre-order. And as you can see, we have a bunch of ways, bunch of stuff that you can add some pre-orders. What I want to do is to look out for a one that has more than 1,000 um, rates and a free version. For example, we have the pre-order now by WOD. So this one has more than 1,000 reviews and had a free plan available. So if this one is, let's say I create for you, I can go into add application and then I wanted to hit into install. It is not necessary, it is not mandatory to download out the application that I'm doing right now. It's gonna be like, you can try whatever application you wanted to, but the process is actually really, really easy and maybe the same between all of these applications. So since I'm using the pre-order now, uh, what I want to do is to check it out the free version. So let's go into everything works great. Now it says enable pre-order for a product uh, by single product or enable for all products. So in order to get started, what I wanted to do is to look out for a product for making the pre-order product used. So here I wanted to go for searched in order to check it out the actual status of this product, what I wanted to do is to change the inventory quantity because I want to enable the pre-order for this variant. So I wanted to hit into save settings. I wanted to focus into the product and the product that I wanted to make the pre-order, which in my case is this one. It's really, but really, really important to change the actual inventory of my product and I'm going to hit into zero apply to all and hit into save because I don't want to have anything available yet since we're going to be making some pre-order remember that so after that I'm going to hit now uh, into save I'm going to hit now and back and let's go back into our actual application that was the pre-order now and as you can see the pre-order is now been enabled and inside the editor of the Shopify, check it out that we have now the pre-order now. So I click there, and as you can see, it says show dynamic checkout buttons using the payment methods available into your store. Customers see the perfect option. So it is actually working and it's looking really, really great. Now I'm gonna hit into exit and hit into save and you can view your store. So as you can see, it wasn't the hard. Just check it out that the pre-order is now working. As you can see, um, what I wanted to do is just to make sure that my link is working. Since we have an actual trial version of the Shopify store, I believe it's gonna be a little bit hard to make some samples of the order, but now the actual pre-order button is actually working into my store. What is left to be done is just to check that out inside the application of the pre-order now. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing toes here into the pre-order application of Shopify. Of course, there's a lot, but truly, truly a lot of applications that I can use um, into my Shopify store, so you can just check it out by yourself and, and figure out which one is like the best and fittable for your store. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. See you next time.